Hey there guys, it's Lee here for Iron Mine Blocks. Hope you're doing great today. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to mine Dero using your CPU or GPU. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, we'll open up the web browser. The official website is Dero.io. From here, you can access a few of the, the basics regarding the specification of the project, the client, various other information. I'm not going to do a project review or anything like that. Here's some quick specs of this uh, particular coin and project. It's quite interesting. It uses a DAG blockchain rather than a linear blockchain. So what that means is that you should have less um, orphan blocks. And um, also the, the network itself, it doesn't go from block to block. There is multiple points of uh, contact and connections. So it's quite an interesting project. It's been around for quite a while. Originally, I skipped over this because it was only ASIC mineable. So that's not something that particularly interests me. But in the last uh, few weeks, I um, can't remember the exact date, but they forked and changed to a unique algorithm called Astro BWT. At that point, it was CPU mineable. And then in the last week or so, it's also become GPU mineable with a similar efficiency to CPUs. So this is really quite an interesting project. Like I say, it's been going for quite some time now. It's got a, a fairly good market cap. It's 3.37 uh, million. And the uh, single coin price or individual coin price is currently trading at 34 cents. So this is a quite unique and interesting project. Something that you can mine quite easily, pick up a few coins. And um, yeah, I think it's got quite a positive future going forward. So that's the basic introduction said there. Um, let's get started with the mining. So from the official website, you can open up this web wallet. So just make sure you've got the correct uh, link. And I'm just gonna refresh it because I've had this tab open for a little while now. But it's wallet.dero.io. Um, I'm not sure if they have a, um, a wallet client, one that you can download to your computer, whether it's just a web wallet at the moment, I'm not too sure. At the moment, I've just been using this web wallet, which is perfectly adequate for our needs. Uh, it means that we can create a wallet, mine to it, and then in the future, we can restore it or we can access it directly via this uh, web sort of interface as well. Um, obviously, not recommended for significantly high values, but it's perfectly fine to get us started. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, create a new wallet. So on this left-hand side here, we can create a new wallet. You can give it a name. Dear demo, a, base, a password, I'll just use the basic one for the purposes of demonstration and then click on create wallet. And here you can see that it's generated a recovery seed phrase for us. So that's all this part here. Obviously you guys, you will want to back it up either manually handwrite it with pen and paper or you could save it as a text file and then password protect that text file on your computer. Obviously, uh, bear in mind that that does have some um, security risk to it. I would always recommend manually handwriting it down. Um, but I'm just gonna copy that to a notepad for the time being. Okay, so the next part is we've got our recovery uh, phrase uh, recorded. In the top, you can see we've already got a address, but I'll just create a new address uh, in any case. So we've got this wallet address. So we can select and copy that. And this is the address that you're going to be mining to. So that is your wallet address. And it starts with Dero and then a long string of characters. It looks a bit like a Monero address, if you're familiar with those, quite a long sequence of uh, characters. But that's what you're gonna be mining to. So once you've got your wallet address uh, created, you can then uh, mine to it from that point onwards. Next up, you're gonna need the miner. It is the XM rig miner that we're gonna be using. So if you've already got this installed and you've got the most recent version, I'm currently using 5.11.1, I think it is. And it also includes the support for the Astro BWT algorithm. So from the official GitHub, I'll paste a link in the video description where you can download it directly from the GitHub or you can download it using my um, file and that will include the source files for you, um, the script files, or should I say, which include the configuration for you. So you wanna to go to releases and there's a few different versions. There's a CPU only version or there's a CUDA version. 
So the version that I'm using is this MSVC CUDA 10 version. So that's probably the version that would be most applicable to you guys. Um, also, you can CPU mine with that using, uh, obviously, of course, your AMD or Intel CPU, but also NVIDIA and AMD uh, GPUs as well. So that this version here should pretty much cover you for all, all scenarios. So you select that and download it. Once it's downloaded, then you want to extract it to a folder. Typically, I'll leave it just the same name for simplicity. And inside, you're going to see something like this. So some of these files it might look slightly different um, if you don't if you download directly from XMRig or uh, if you don't download from from my a link that I provide for you. Sorry. Um, so yeah, if it doesn't look like this, so you want these starting configuration files here, and then download using my link rather than the XMRig link. That's all I'm saying. So we have a few um, files, and this is how you want to set up the, the miner itself. So if you don't have them already in there, you want to create a new command file or a new text file. And I'll show you how you format that. So if you go to edit, or you can, like I say, create a new text file. The first part is echo off, that's irrelevant. The more important part is, is call to the miner. So it's xmrig.exe. The donate level, the standard, I think it defaults to 5%, but here we've got it sent as a 1% donation. The next is the mining pool that we're going to be mining to. So it's dash O and then dero.hero miners and then the pool. Depending on your mining speed, you might want to adjust the pool. Um, I'll refer to the pool in just a minute, but that should be uh, perfectly fine to get you up and running. Then we've got dash U. So this is the part where you paste your dero address. So I'm going to leave this one in there just for demonstration purposes so I can show you the stats on the pool, etc. Then we've got dash P. Dash P is not your password, it's used as a nickname for this pool. So if you want to call your rig, mining rig one, or nickname, whatever you prefer, to, you can choose anything that you like. So it's not a password, just a nickname. Then we've got dash dash algo, and the algorithm that we're going to be using is Astro BWT. Next up we have dash T, which is the CPU threads. So I'm going to change it to one, um, because I'm recording at the same time, so this will just help uh, the screen capture record as, as we continue onwards and then on the last line we've got pause that means if the if the miner runs into any problems um, the error will kind of sh show but it'll keep the window open then you want to go to file and then you want to save as so if you've got a notepad file you want to change this to all files and then you want to save it as a dot command or a dot bat batch file and then save it So this is the CPU miner that's basically ready to go. So I'll start this up and show you how it looks. So XMRig 5.11.0, we've got huge pages and it tells you this our CPU, it's an i5-6600. Uh, it's actually running about closer to four gigahertz. Uh, OpenCL and CUDA are both disabled in this mode. If you've got a GPU mining enabled, you'll see either one of those is um, running. Then further down, you've got CPU using the profile, which is using one threads, and you can see it's using one of one threads there to start mining. So this will start mining uh, away. Uh, when I run it on four cores, I normally get about 250. So I guess it would probably be around about 70, something like that. Uh, 60 even, sorry. So it's gonna start mining away, and then you'll start seeing your accepted shares and a hash rate will be produced. Okay, so you can see it there, it's 61 hashes just on that single core. So that will hash away and obviously start reporting to the pool and start earning you some coins. Now I'll show you how to set it up for GPU mining. So we go back to our folder and here I've already got a template set up for you and I'll show you how it varies uh, differently from the CPU only version. So it's very, very similar. In fact, if I open up both windows, I can show you how it looks in comparison. So uh, let's do it this way. So the top one is the CPU mining version and the bottom one is the GPU mining version. So you can see they are, 
uh, very similar. The primary difference is that this one, you've got this extra line here, so it's CUDA, so it turns on your CUDA functions. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, this is what you want to turn on, CUDA. If you have a AMD or OpenCL device, you want to change this to dash dash OpenCL. So for NVIDIA, change it to CUDA, and for AMD uh, GPUs, change it to OpenCL. The rest of it is pretty much all the same. So we've got the call to the pool, the pool, the username, and see here I've got a different password, although it's not a password, it's just a nickname. Uh, we've got dash K. Uh, it's also this um, coin set. So add that in if you get any difficulties, it just helps the, um, the miner identify the coin and the pool correctly. You shouldn't need it, but in this case, we'll just leave it in there. Then we've got a call to the algorithm. You see that it's a slightly different format and it doesn't make any difference whether you use dash dash algo or you just do dash a astro beta, it doesn't make any difference. And then the last part we've got, it selected to use no CPU. So in this case, we're only gonna be using our GPU and not the CPU. Um, it's also worth noting that you can mine with CPU and GPU at the same time, and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. But first, let's just show you how the uh, GPU miner looks. So start dero.gpu. Oh, sorry, I'll just go back quickly. Again, as before, if you want to save it, if you've got a notepad, when you go to save, save as your file name, change it to all files, and then change it to a command file or a bat file when you save it. So we'll start this up and I'll show you how that looks. So just at the top there, you can see it's very much the same as when we started the CPU miner. You can still see our CPU there, but further down, you can see that we've got this CUDA device. So now it's detected our CUDA device. In this case, it's a GTX 1080 Ti, and that will start mining. Uh, the other thing to note as well is uh, you don't choose any threads on your um, CUDA or OpenCL devices, it just is one thread and that uses the full power of the CPU, uh, the GPU, sorry. That's gonna start mining away there. Okay, so we've got a few accepted shares and then we should see a hash rate. I think from memory it was around about 800 hashes. So you can see here, oh, just a quickly, um, I didn't explain it in the previous section, but where you've got this speed, so you've got like a 10 second hash, average over 10 seconds, an average over 60 seconds, and an average over 15 minutes. And it also tells you your max or peak performance throughout that time as well. So it helps you understand um, what your average hash rate is um, over time, or whether you've dropping down from that average, it just helps you to uh, understand that a little bit better. So we've got a few accepted shares now, obviously that gets reported uh, to the pool. So I'll close that now and I'll show you how to do the GPU and CPU mining at the same time. So it's a similar command uh, file as the previous one. So the only difference really is this final line here is this no CPU. So on this one, we have exactly the same as the GPU miner, but we've taken out this no CPU option. So what this one will do is mine using your CPU and GPU at the same time. So I'll start that and I'll show you how that looks. The only thing I didn't set is the CPU thread, so it's gonna run four threads. So I'll just open it and I'll close it quickly so it doesn't affect my screen recorder. But you can see there, we're basically gonna use both devices, CPU and GPU. I think actually you might be able to set the CPU thread count as well. Let's just try that. I've not tried it, but let's see. So we'll set the CPU threads to one, see if this works. Um, yeah, that does work, cool. So further down, you can see here, we've got the CPU thread count is at one and the GPU thread count is also at one. So that's perfect. That will continue mining and it goes on from there. So that's the XMRig miner running. What I'd like to show you now is if we open up the browser again, if we go to the Dero pool, so mining dero.herominers.com, if you go to there, scroll down the page a little bit, you can enter your stats here so you enter your wallet address here where you've been mining to and you go to look up. And then what it will do is it will show you your hash rates. 
So here you've got the current hash rate and the average hash rates. You've also got your pending balances or balances due to be paid out to you, total paid out uh, from the pool. There's also, there was a little hash bit as well. It kind of disappeared. Sometimes it shows you and sometimes it don't. Let me see if I can uh, just do it again if I refresh the page. I think it gave you, oh yeah, that's it. So sometimes this doesn't show and sometimes it does. I think you just have to refresh the page. So it shows you your hash rate over a period of time. What is the time scale there? So 30th first. So I think it's like a 48 hour uh, period and uh, payouts during that time and also your average daily sort of earnings over, it's over a monthly period. So you can see I've been mining Dero for, a, for about a month now, something like that. And then you've also got your expected payout. So you're currently hashing at 574 hashes. And it also shows you your coin amounts based on a one day average and also in dollar terms there. You can see further down, we've got our workers. So whatever you put in that password field, like I say, it's not a password, it's just for a nickname. You can see I had the i5-6600 there and the GTX 1080 Ti was also running. And these are all gonna be your workers. So you can see in here, mostly I've just got my SBCs. So I've got various uh, single board computers and a, a few VAPS systems running as well, just really for testing. And they're running in the background, low power, um, just kind of set and forget kind of system that I've uh, got running in the background there. So that's the pool side of things as well. Okay guys, so I think I've pretty much covered everything. Hopefully you've uh, found this video useful and informative and it's been uh, good for you. Uh, as always, any questions or comments, put those in the comments area below. I'll put the links for everything that you need in the video description as well as those uh, configuration files. Uh, if you, any of you guys want to mine to my address, yeah, you're more than welcome to. Uh, just change that to, um, I'll change it anyway in the download, but if you just change the password to donate, then it'll just uh, credit my account with, uh, with a few coins and I'd really appreciate it. Okay, uh, obviously that's not something that yeah, I demand of you. Uh, just letting you know, you know, you can if you want. If you don't want to, no problem at all. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.